Right now, nine engineering firms are working to stabilize the land at the old Alton Ethanol plant in Meade, Nebraska. Now, the state shut down the ethanol plant a year ago after numerous environmental violations. You can see from Skywatch 7, Alton piled tons of pesticide-laden corn byproduct on the land as lagoons full of toxic water. Well, a man monitoring the cleanup has lived in that small town since childhood. Well, he wants people to know that the drinking water and air in his hometown are safe and the village will get through this challenging time. Corn. It puts so many Nebraska towns on the map, but in the wide open fields of Mead, Nebraska, a once promising corn product now has mounting grave concerns. They didn't give them a permit to pollute, they gave them a permit to make ethanol. 30 miles west of Omaha, Alton made ethanol using free seed corn treated with pesticides, cutting corners and creating massive environmental hazards. Absolutely overwhelming. Bill Thorson is the village board chairman. He's lived here since the age of three. One thing I really like about our village is we pull together in situations like this. His position pays $97 a month for a very part-time job that's supposed to be easygoing. When you, you uh, get on the board at Mead, you don't normally deal with things like this. You deal with somebody put their fence in the wrong place or they want to build a fence. Instead, Thorson is keeping tabs. Everything out there kind of worries me a little bit. He's monitoring Nebraska's largest environmental disaster to date. Right now, water is a, the biggest hazard, the biggest threat. See those lagoons on site? Private lab tests show they're full of a toxic chemical soup, pesticides and fungicides. Two of the lagoons are leaking. One has nine toxic gas bubbles under the liners. We've already got nine engineering firms out there along with an overseer. Well, the firm spent months building a new lagoon to hold the water that's been cleaned. They built this carbon filter treatment system on property, and they're cleaning the equivalent of 30,000 tanker trucks full of hazardous water. Just this lagoon cost over $3 million. That's one. They're building a second one right now. Six seed corn companies are spending millions of dollars to stabilize the factory in nearby land. Alden and its owners haven't spent a dime. I wouldn't be shocked if it's probably $100 million. I would not be shocked at all. Thorson wants Mead residents to know this. When they turn on the faucet, tell me about Mead's water. Is Mead's water safe? A hundred percent safe. We get tests every month. At least, actually, right now we're doing tests every day because we're still in our one-year phase of the new treatment facility. Mead just spent three million dollars on a new water treatment facility, tower, and wells. The village of Mead has safe water. Private labs tested 60 private farm wells in the fall of 2021. Two wells showed evidence of Alton's pesticides at levels well below EPA thresholds. They said it would be like taking a, an eyedropper, okay. one drop of an eyedropper in an Olympic pool. The EPA also tested the air last fall, driving up and down these streets. Nothing was um, out of the ordinary or, or of any human uh, dangers. A few weeks ago, remediation crews covered the 16-acre pile of hazardous corn waste with a hard shell cap to prevent rainwater runoff. Well, people worry that there's no liner under the pile. Would we have had another problem if we tried to move it all and put a liner on it? Where do you go with it without contaminating another 16 acres? And that smelly mess they covered? It's being scrutinized to find the best way to dispose of it. Right now, there's six labs throughout the nation that have samples of that. Scientists are trying to learn exactly what chemicals are in the pile so they know how to destroy them. Two options on the table, hauling the pile to landfills or incinerating it on the spot. And the last thing they want to do is create more problems. His wish for his little village is one that's shared. Let's make sure it never happens again and let's do the best we can or find the best way to clean it up. So the remediation teams will have a final plan to dispose of all the waste soon, and then there will be public hearings on it in May or June. The six seed companies are suing Alton along with the state of Nebraska. Again, the owner, a Kansas man, has had nothing to do with the cleanup. Scientists say the biggest risk is to groundwater, and it could take years for chemicals to reach it.